Mr. Giorgio is uh, taking a well-deserved vacation this week. As I cozy is taking his position. And if he's not careful, she will. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, strike that for the record. Uh, Joe, it's all right. Replay. We're welcoming you back. Don't it's worry. Not a problem. The, um, okay. Adequate notice of this August the 23rd, 2012 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by posting written notice on the agenda of the meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building, 1000 Route 10, Whippany Township of Hanover, by hand delivering and mailing such notice and faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers, the Hanover Eagle, Morris County's Daily Record, the Star Ledger, and by filing same with the township clerk. The roll call. Mr. Schleifer. Here. Mr. Paramatsa. Here. Mr. Bruno. Here. Mr. Pola. Here. Mayor Francio. Here. Mr. Chairman, here are five members. Okay, thank you. Uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in a pledge of allegiance to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Uh, at this time, gentlemen, I'd like to open the floor to the public. Any items not appearing on the agenda? Motion open. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open for this moment. If you'd like to address the Township Committee, you can do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record, please. Seeing none. Hearing none. Motion to close. So moved. Second. Second. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Communications. Okay. I have it first. May I have an approval of the minutes from the regular meeting of June 28, 2012, and the bid committee meeting of July 17, 2012? So moved. Seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, communications. We have a request from the Hanover Township Board of Education for the payment of tax levy money in the amount of $2,141,552. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. moved. Second. Okay. <clears throat> public hearing on property maintenance violations. At this time, the Township Committee will convene a public hearing concerning various violations of Chapter 212 of the Code of the Township entitled Property Maintenance at, one, at 110 Parsippany Road, 38 Nye Avenue, 441 Route 10, and 940 Route 10. The township's construction official building inspector has given advance written notice to each of the property owners concerning tonight's public hearing. The township committee will be asked to expend funds to abate violations, place liens on each of the properties for the work performed, and to designate a custodian of the properties in question. I will now ask for a motion and a second to convene the public hearing. So moved. Second. second. Um, roll call. Aye. Mr. Faramasa. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Cola. Aye. Mr. Francioli. Aye. Okay. Our township attorney, Fred Samarow, will now conduct the proceedings. Is there anyone here that's uh, the owner of the properties, aforementioned properties, 110 Parsippany Road, 38 Nye Avenue, 441 Route 10, 940 Route 10? Seeing that there's no one uh, that appears uh, to um, address the Township Committee regarding these uh, basically property maintenance violations, I would ask the Mayor to please close the public hearing. And um, with that, then I would ask the governing body to take into consideration the report issued by the construction official and the recommendation uh, that the construction official be appointed as the custodian of the property to take the necessary measures to correct what, what is these property maintenance violations and deficiencies and any cost uh, or time incurred uh, to, to remedy these, these matters will be charged against the property as a lien. Fred Lim will take that action. A motion to close the so public portion? Second. Okay, a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, you want to consent on that or do you want a roll call? Uh, it would be a roll call, but Mayor, also with respect to 940 Route 10, uh, there is a, an attorney on behalf of the property owner, uh, Joseph Burns, 
who just for the record asked uh, that in the event that the property were to be demolished, he would receive notice and have an opportunity uh, to be heard. And that's that's the only objection that uh, that he expressed on behalf of that property owner. But yes, a, a formal roll call vote would be. Appreciate the on a roll yes. call. Um, Mr. Schleifer. Aye. Mr. Faramas. Aye. <clears throat> Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Capola. Aye. Mr. Francio. Aye. Uh, as was explained, these properties are in, uh, specific properties are in great need of maintenance and, and upkeep. Uh, they have fallen into various forms of uh, uh, disrepair. Some have fallen into estates with the owners uh, no longer uh, available to us. Um, and um, in certain cases, they're, they're a, 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 an out and out blight to certain neighborhoods, so it's an act <coughs> has to be taken to maintain them. Thank you. Okay. I have a resolution. Yeah. I have a resolution um, debating a resolution of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, Morris County, New Jersey, abating the property maintenance violations, authorizing the expenditure of municipal funds to abate the condition, and appointing the custodian of the property. May I have a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. Second. Pfeiffer? Aye. Mr. Faramas? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francio? Aye. Okay, we'll give you these. Okay. Yeah. That's yours. Okay. All right, you know, public hearing on yeah. ordinances and final passage. Uh -huh. I have ordinance number 17, 2012. The Township Committee cannot act on opening the public hearing this evening because the newspaper failed to publish the ordinance when it was sent to the paper. Therefore, you need to make a motion to carry ordinance number 17, 12 to the September 13, 2012 Township Committee meeting. Do you have a motion? So motion to carry. Second. Mr. Roll call. Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Faramasta? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francio? Aye. Now we have uh, ordinance number 1218. This is a land use ordinance that would change the zone classification of Lot 15 in Block 9201 at 62-66 North Jefferson Road from an R40 to an RM5-5 zone district. In accordance with the municipal land use of law, we have the following on file. The proof of publication of the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the August 2, 2012 issue of the Daily Record. Notice from the Morris County Department of Planning and Development that the ordinance has been filed to the county. The ordinance was sent to the Township Planning Board for review and recommendation, as well as the county and the five contiguous municipalities. And the ordinance ordinance, along with a cover letter, was sent by regular and certified mail to all property owners within 200 feet of 62-66 North Jefferson Road. May we have a motion to convene the public hearing? Motion to convene a public hearing, however, I would like to also submit that we would delay consideration of adoption until September 13th to allow members of the public who may not be here this evening to be able to be heard. Second. All right, may I have a motion to carry over or delay this ordinance? We're going to have the public we'll hearing. Well, no, no. If no, I want to open it to the public. Oh, right. So, if there is a member of the public who's here this evening who wants to be heard, all I right. want to give them that right. However, I also want to delay the consideration of adoption. All right, well, let's until the right, first, 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 the let's first, first motion to open. Okay, okay. Mr. Faramonski, you open the meeting. Mr. Second. Schleifer. All right. Roll call, Mr. Schleifer. Aye. Mr. Faramas? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francio? Aye. Okay. Okay. Anyone? The floor is open. Anyone would like to be heard on this ordinance can do so at this time, giving us your name and address once again for the record at the podium. <clears throat> Good evening, Diana Plaza, to Briarwood Court and Whiffany. Um, I am happy that we're moving this to September, but I would also like the board to be able to provide 
to those residents who are within 200 yards or feet of the property some additional information on what the expectations are, what's going to be built, how many townhomes are going to be built there, what the actual plans are so that we know what to expect in our neighborhood. I personally am very concerned with town host, uh, townhouse development going up in my neighborhood. My property was assessed just a few months ago, and it was assessed at an increased value of over $300,000 from what it was the previous assessment, and I'm concerned that, that, that the value of my home and of my neighborhood is going to significantly decrease with the presence of a townhome community. So I would just like more information on how many families, how many homes, what it's going to look like, et cetera. The, um, there's, there's two portions to, um, to this change that uh, you'll have an opportunity to comment on. The first portion is the actual zone change <coughs> itself, which would allow for multi-use, uh, multi-units multi, uh, on this property. And that's what you're talking about there. Uh, from presently what is a um, single-family zone. Uh, the second portion of that is a planning board hearing, which would be the concept which would take into consideration how many units on this, uh, how many per acre, how many units are there, how they're located, um, various other aspects, buffering, <coughs> landscape, and so forth. So there's two portions of this. But what you're hearing tonight is, uh, in a moment, uh, is a motion to carry this ordinance, not to take action, uh, to carry this ordinance uh, to uh, afford other peoples an opportunity to comment, that, uh, and you could be at that meeting as well. So that, that's where we are right now. Okay. Um, does anyone else like to be heard at this time? Uh, once again, the floor is still open. Anyone would like to be heard at this time? Just a quick question. From the podium with your name and address. Jim Neidhart, 3414 Appleton Way, Whippany. Uh, just a quick question. Where is this located in relation to Town Hall versus... Uh, this particular property in question? Parsippany Road. Uh, Jim, do you know where the existing uh, slaughterhouse facility is on, on Jefferson okay. Road? That's the property. That's okay. Thanks. That's the land, yeah. Um, okay. Once again, floor still remains open. Anyone else would like to be heard at this time? Hearing none. Seeing none, motion to close. So moved. Right. Second. Moved and seconded. Roll call, Mr. Aye. Mr. Fermasa. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Capola. Aye. Mr. Francio. Aye. Okay, now, on a motion to carry, right. Mr. Fermasa, do you like to offer? Yes, I'd like to uh, make a motion to delay consideration of adoption of this ordinance until September 13th so that more members of the public who could not be here because of questions about this notice will be able to be heard. Second. Second. Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Fermasa? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francioli? Aye. <coughs> now I have an ordinance. Uh, this is a land ordinance number 19, 2012. Land use ordinance amending and supplementing chapter 156 of the code by revising the regulations for the preservation, removal, and planting of trees. In accordance with the municipal land use law, the ordinance and notice of introduction appeared in full in the August 2, 2012 issue of the Daily Record. In addition, the ordinance was referred to the Planning Board for a report and recommendation and also sent to the County Department of Planning and Development and the five adjacent municipalities. We also have confirmation from the Morris County Department of Planning and Development that the ordinance was filed with the County. May we have a motion to convene the public hearing? So moved. Second. Second. Roll call, Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Fairmont? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francioli? Aye. Anyone like to? Seeing none, may I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. Roll call, Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Fairmont? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. Mr. Francioli? Aye. No, I mean, the way we're going. <clears throat> ordinance 1912, this has been adopted. This is the Land Use Ordinance Amending and Supplementing Chapter 166 of the Code by revising the regulations for the preservation, removal, and planting of trees. 
This is the adoption That's portion. The one that's adopted. Yep. Ordinance number 20, 2012. This ordinance authorizes the purchase of a replacement traffic signal controller <coughs> cabinet and all related controller equipment to be installed at the intersection of Troy Hills Road and Highland Avenue and further appropriate the sum of $16,000 from the 2012 Capital Improvement Fund in all prior years for the improvement. We have proof of publication that the ordinance and notice of introduction appeared in full in the August 2nd, 2012 issue of the Daily Record. May I have a motion to convene the public hearing? So moved. Second. Roll call, Mr. Pfeiffer. Aye. Mr. Paramatta. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Coppola. Aye. Mr. Francioli. Aye. Anyone wishing to be heard? May I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. Roll call, Mr. Pfeiffer. Aye. Paramasta? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Cola? Aye. Ordinance of even Mr. Francioli. Oh, Aye. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what Mr. Francioli. The mayor, sir. An ordinance of the Township Committee authorizing the purchase of a replacement traffic signal controller cabinet and all related controller mm -hmm. equipment to be installed at the intersection of Toy Hills Road and Highland Avenue and further appropriate the sum of $16,000 from the 2012 Capital Improvement Fund in all prior years for the improvement. You need a motion to? I have a motion. Okay. Second. Approval. Motion. Approval. Second. 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 Okay. Roll call, Mr. Pfeiffer. Aye. Mr. Faramazzi. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Coppola. Aye. And Mr. Francis. Aye. Are you going to take your resolution uh, to the consent to agenda? Uh, well, I'd, yes. I'd like to make a motion on the resolutions that you break out one and two, and then consent agenda three, 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 two, fourteen. Yes. Yeah. Just chunk them up that way. I think. Okay. okay. Do you want to break them out to be written in full, or how do you want to? In full, all of one, and, and number two, read individually, and, and then individual. right. three through 14 as consent. Three through 16. All right, so do you, do you want me to do these first, or the consent agenda? Uh, we'll do Whichever. the resolution. You're going to do, uh, you want to do one and two. full resolution, okay. right? <coughs> or just the title? Title. Just the title. Just the title. title. Yeah, not title. the full resolution. Not the full resolution. Right, yeah. Yeah. You want it by title only? By title yeah. only. Oh, fine. Okay. All right, fine. A resolution of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover mm. appointing Joan Johnson as the Township's part time human resource specialist in the Department of Administration for a six month probationary period commencing September 5th, 2012, and ending March 5th, 2013, and establishing the compensation at $25,000 per annum in accordance with Section 1, Item 12, on Salary Ordinance Number 14-12, which is a conditional offer of employment, subject to receiving a satisfactory medical examination, spinal evaluation, negative drug, drug test, and a negative criminal history record check. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. A roll call, roll call Mr. Schleifer. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. Okay. Number two. Number two, yeah. A resolution of the Township Committee authorizing a temporary increase in the number of work hours for Billy Donatek, the Township's fire subcode official, as a result of several major construction projects and establishing his compensation at third. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're just, I'm sorry. Nope. We're just uh, want okay. to clarify a few, few points here. Okay, here you go. This is the resolution. There you go. A resolution of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover authorizing a shared services <clears throat> agreement by and between the Township of Hanover and the Board of Education of the Hanover Park. Regional High School District 
for the period beginning September 1, 2012 and ending December 31, 2012 in the transfer of the Township Safe Schools Resource Specialist to the Regional School District and further authorizing the Mayor and Township Clerk to execute a shared services agreement all in accordance with NJSA 48 colon 65-4 head sequence. May I have a motion for approval, please? So moved. Second. May I have a roll call, please, Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Faramasi? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Coppola? Yeah, aye. And Mr. Um, Francis? Mr. Francis? Aye. So. I'd just like to add a little something to this one also that uh, moving the uh, SRO officer to help out at the high school and the uh, regional school, that the coverage for there is being taken care of through the health uh, uh, department at the K-8 district. Uh, Mayor Francioli did speak with the superintendent, uh, Scott Pepper, and uh, we, did, uh, we were able to work out a resolve. So I don't think there's a concern into that particular area. Concern. wanted to ask a question since it seems that there's two instances where we're not going with the lowest bid but the second lowest bid what's the difference between the lowest and the second lowest from a pricing from a costing perspective and and are you getting a bundle package by using the same group for both motions well the, the, the lowest bid that was submitted was disqualified that was that was the first problem and uh, the second issue is I don't believe in the context of it I think it was a few thousand dollar difference yeah, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head. I don't, but it was nominal. It was maybe 
anywhere between two and six thousand dollars difference between the low and the second low. And are you getting kind of a bundle discount? No, all all the projects were no, all the projects were, were bids separately. Um, certainly, I guess uh, maybe he priced himself hoping to get all three, so they were. Um, let me put it this way: all the 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 prices we got were under the budgeted amount. Just for clarification, okay. and the rationale why the lowest bid was not taken? Well, the lowest bid didn't comply with the requirements, and so under competitive contracting, it would give the lowest bidder an advantage by not completing and giving the information to the township to, in this case, investigate their credentials and qualifications. You're supposed to give that information. For an example, um, you're supposed to provide uh, other references for jobs and contracts with public entities over $250,000 in size, and the low bidder did not provide that information. So it's not the type of information that could be provided after the fact. It has to be provided in the sealed bid. Um, so that was the reason, one of the reasons for the, the disqualification. We're going to make a motion on the yeah. balance on the yeah. consent agenda. Thank you, President. Okay. Uh, all right, gentlemen, we're going to... Yeah, you got to complete... Yeah, got to complete it. Got to complete the vote. Yeah. Okay, I need a roll call, please. Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Faramas? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Pola? Aye. Mr. Francio? Aye. Okay, the next portion we're going to take all the, all the resolutions that are listed on the agenda as a consent agenda. Are there any questions from the Township Committee concerning any of the resolutions? Hearing none, may I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. May I have a roll call? Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Faramasca? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Cola? Aye. And Mr. Francio? Aye. Okay. Raffle license number RL2574 is Morristown Rotary Club. You're going to have a tricky tray on March 4th, 2013 at the Hanover Manor. RL2575, Morristown Rotary Club. They're also going to hold 50-50 on premise March 4th, 2012 at the Hanover Manor. Whippany Park Lucid Club, which is RL2576. They're going to have an off-premise raffle September 15, 2012 at the Whippany Park High School. RL2577 Whippany Park, a uh, Whippany Rotary Club. They're going to have um, a raffle November 3, 2012 at the American Legion Mall. RL2578 for the Interfaith Food Pantry. They're going to hold a tricky tray April 12, 2013 at Birchwood Manor. RL2579 Interfaith Food Pantry. They're going to hold the 50-50 off-premise April 12, 2013 at the Birchwood Manor. RL2580 Whippany Park Booster Club. They're going to have a 50-50 on-premise August 30, 2012 at the Whippany Park High School. And RL2581 Whippany Park Booster Club. 50-50 on-premise, September 15th, September 29th, October 13th, and October 26th at the Whippany Park High School. May I have a motion to approve these raffles? So please? moved. Second. 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 Roll call, Mr. Schleifer? Aye. Mr. Faramas? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Capola? Aye. And Mr. Francia? Aye. Pay some bills? Yes. Who would you like? Uh, may I have a motion to approve the payment of bills in the amount of eight million fifty one thousand eight hundred ninety three thousand twenty eight dollars. So moved. Can you can you cover that? 
So, yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> so moved. So moved. Um, second. Second. Oh, Mr. Pfeiffer? Aye. Mr. Faramasca? Aye. Mr. Bruno? Aye. Mr. Coppola? Aye. And Mr. Francio? Aye. Chairman, that's Cleo Gendron, Deputy Chairman. Thank you, Kathy. Nice job. Very good. Uh, all right, gentlemen, at this time, uh, I'm going to uh, return to the committee. Is there any other business from the Township Committee or a comment? Just just briefly, the um, the new garbage truck has been in operation for three weeks now, and it's outrageous. doing great. I think yeah. some of us have went out and seen it, actually, in operation. I did. I went out and I sent a, a video. It wasn't the greatest video. It was from my iPad, <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it kind of worked. We can see the operation. Um, it it it's as expected. It it is a it's a great machine. Uh, it's going to save us on a lot of injuries, um, yeah. and of course, it's going to save us money. Um, um, I can't oh, wait till we get another one. I, we, I uh, I, my understanding is that we have other uh, towns in the area that are now visiting us. Morris Township was one Morris of Township them. Township is one. I want to take a look at this uh, vehicle, and um, so uh, once again, I'm proud to say that. Uh, uh, Hanover Township stuck its chin out, took the lead on something uh, that may uh, set a pace for uh, for the county. Yeah, be great. So, yeah. And the only other thing, from an engineering standpoint, everyone heard tonight we're going to get a lot of roads paved. So I'm happy that's finally in the works. I believe we all um, we read them in the resolutions. So you know, there have been again, questions in the community too. Now, you know, it's so funny. We go from early initial stage of this where we have very long debates as to the value of it. Now, <coughs> at this point. Having seen it and experienced it, uh, there are routes in our community that aren't covered by the truck and won't be covered until we get a second truck. Well, that's correct. There's the, the, the current route was the Wednesday-Saturday route. So right off the bat, we eliminated some Saturday overtime, which is going to save us. Um, I wouldn't even guess. I'll, I'll let our chief financial officer guess at that. I think it was close to 50000 in overtime. You know, so it's a, it's a substantial savings right out of the box. Yeah. Um, I speak, Speaking to... Um, our DPW superintendent, Brian Ferran, and he also informs me that he may include some other areas in that route. Oh, really? We have yeah. enough garbage cans to do it, and um, it's working so efficiently, they're getting the route done fairly quickly. I think we've we we budgeted, on that. We budgeted for half of the second truck. I believe we have that. I, so so the um, first half of the truck was budgeted for this year. For first first half truck. of a second truck. Yes. Right. Okay. So we have to wait till next budget. So next year, if we could yeah. budget the second half, then we. But with two trucks in service, we'll be in a position to cover the sanitation of the entire town with this device. I I, I, believe I three think trucks. it's three trucks we need. Three, three is going to be the ultimate. Yeah, it, three is the number going to be required yeah. that we can do for the entire township. Yeah. I, don't know. I did um, inform Brian that uh, three residents got me at mass. Couple of weeks back, and they were thrilled about it. So yeah, I did what, send Ryan Brian a note saying, you know, exactly that that they did like it. So I, I you know, we we did have some some issues. I, I think everyone saw Mrs. Lipinski in the Daily Record, and we went and visit. I personally went and visited her with Brian, and we took care of her issue with a uh, you know, special <laughs> order can. And we have some more of those for some of our seniors that that had some problems with the larger can. It, it's not a it's not a great solution for the average family because it. it the can is small, and the way it's tapered, if uh, you still have some good physical strength and you pack it in, it probably won't in, empty. In, but for in, our seniors that, that are by themselves with very little, it I read, be a good option. I read, as we most, most did, that some of our seniors had some difficulty, and that's, uh, that's uh, something we don't want, uh, and we want to make sure that everyone is comfortable. We do have uh, three sizes of the trash can available, the smallest being your current size that you're using at home now, which is about a 33-gallon. There is a 30-gallon, I think, that uh, yeah, That's correct. That, that's the one I'm speaking about, and it's, it's, it's not for the average homeowner. It's, it's, if you have a special case where you have some uh, physical um, problems and you may you know, need something smaller and you're by yourself, it, it will probably work fine as long as you don't compact it. Yeah, if otherwise that'll if you have more than purpose. two people in the household, it's not going to work. It's going to defeat the purpose. Right. Correct. Yeah, it, it won't empty if if you compact it by hand into this uh, tapered can. It will not. It won't automatically empty. So, but in a situation like Miss Lipinski, that's a perfect solution for her. Um, so we're qualifying. And some of the you know some of the calls that we got um, were because of the seniors had the largest can, and we sent them out postcards, and they didn't respond. If they didn't respond, they got the largest can. 
We just simply swapped them out with the, the medium-sized can, and they're very happy. With no, that it, was it wasn't an issue, and you handled it yeah. very well. I'll, I'll say that. You, did, we, and you met with the individual who had some issues, handled it very well, and in doing so, uh, gave other seniors an opportunity to make some changes themselves, which, right. is, which is fine. But I did want to make it clear, and in fairness to our Public Works Department, we had several meetings that you fellows went to at the Senior Citizens Club. You demonstrated these refuse containers, uh, large wheels, etc. People at the club were able to maneuver them around, use them, see what they like, etc. Um, we had them available here in Town Hall for over a month, uh, you know, for view. Uh, we tried to make every effort uh, to uh, give everybody an opportunity to make a, uh, a, a good choice of the, of the can that they felt that they could manage. Um, another consideration which also brings a smile on my face is because we had so, so, so many wonderful people come forward and they say, well, you know, I can't handle my, my can now. What am I going to do with a 90-gallon can? Well, if you're only putting out 20 gallons worth of refuse now, you're not going to put out more than 20 gallons worth of refuse in a 90-gallon can. So the, the volume of your, of your trash isn't going to change by virtue of the larger can that we give you, unless you really want a clean house. <laughs> but, um, and you can. And I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. <laughs> but uh, but I, I think uh, we've got a, a few little little uh, quirks in it, but there's nothing that we can't fix. And you I know, think it's going to be a great program. I'm really encouraged by it, and uh, I, I really applaud everybody who's been involved. Yeah, and every, any, every one of the time we have a call and an issue, we, we go out and personally visit with them, and, and you know we try to solve the problems as we see them. That's it. It's Have you uh, figured the problem how he's going to get his down his driveway? Who, Ron? You got <laughs> he's still pretty capable. So I'm, You I'm know gonna... what? It's not getting it down my driveway. <laughs> it's getting the empty can back up. My you know, I'll have to bring my, uh, my iPad over and take a video of him doing that. <laughs> Ken, Ken, quick, quick I, question in terms of clarification. What if, the flip side, I have a large family and the large can isn't... Uh, Sufficient. sufficient. Oh, sufficient. So can, I, can I get another can? What do I do? Absolutely. Yeah. And if you want another can, you can come to the general office and you can pay for it. So you pay the... for the second can. Right. And they'll be distributed by the DPW. Um, and we made that announcement earlier and, you know, before the program started. We have extra cans available. Um, and we have not put a limit on how many cans you can put out. Um, the first can, of course, the Township Base Warrant, if you want more from there, that you can pay for yourself. Now, also, um, another thing that's worth mentioning, if the can is, is damaged in any way, we'll replace it or repair it. Whatever it takes, just give the DPW a call and, and we'll take care of your issues. How much did the extra cans cost? I'm sorry, I said I didn't. I'm sorry, I don't know. How much did you, you don't know how much the extra cans, how much did it cost? $65. $65. It's a 90 gallon can, it's the size of three cars. We have a big family, we have a lot of garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll probably need two or three extra. <laughs> how many cans do you normally put out now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to say that. Right. But but what I'm saying is that the 90 gallon can will take probably um, three garbage Equals cans three. full. So yeah. if it you need more than that, I, if you get more than two, I I can't. Well, I, maybe you have more garbage than that. I don't know. My wife first got it. She said I could take up light housekeeping in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she meant by that. She was sending me a signal. I think she was giving some indication. But um, no, it's uh, we're, we're going to. Uh, we're going to be following the program closely in the early stages of it and make sure that every uh, household is comfortable with the can that they do have. We're really satisfied with the way the, the uh, truck is working. Uh, we're looking at, uh, we had some comment about uh, getting it garaged. Uh, uh -huh. We're looking at that. And uh, it's not going to be nearly the kinds of costs that some of the public uh, anticipated you know, right. for uh, just raising or uh, lifting Open, lifting the opening of our present garage or so, uh, to uh, get the truck in. Um, but, that, uh, but that's fine. Ken, thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone else from the committee have yeah. a comment? The environmental, terms of, oh, go ahead, John. the environmental Commission has been very busy and has two big events for the month of September that I think we all should take advantage of. The first event is called Community Shred Day. This is being done in conjunction with Employment Horizons oh. on Ridgedale Avenue. And what it allows us to do on that Saturday, September 15th, yeah, from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, is to bring all those confidential papers that you've been storing for many years that no longer have a value to you and bring them to a facility that will destroy them properly in an environmental sensitive way at no cost to you. So please plan on September 15th for Community Shred Day. Very the, good. the second event is Hanover's Township 
free tree giveaway. And this is a great opportunity uh, for any resident in Hanover Township um, to be able, eligible to win a, a tree, um, and it will be what's called an Eastern Red Bud Tree, and 100 lucky township residents will be awarded these trees. The only qualification is that you must live in a township and you must agree to plant the tree within a township if it is awarded to you. There is a form to fill out. You can get it at Town Hall or pick it up at the township website, print it out, and make sure you submit it by September the um, 14th. And by September 19th, we will notify the winners of the trees. That concludes my report. And, and, and these are trees, folks. These are not shrubs. These are, these are seven, eight, nine foot species trees. Uh, and um, I, I really encourage anyone who is looking to add trees to the property, et cetera, to take advantage of this program. In fact, that's a little modest. We only have 100 of them. It's coming out of the tree fund, right? We do this annually, Ron. We do this annually. Well, I think the mayor's going to make a proposal that we double the amount of trees that we offer to the community. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it back shortly. to the environmental. <laughs> bring it back to the environmental <laughs> commission. The pikers that they are. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll increase that amount. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's a local nursery where you can pick the tree out. You could do what George Coppola did. Lift the thing up, put it in your trunk, and drive it home. It's ridiculous. In your no, antique I car? Didn't. You know? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> so you had it delivered? Oh, no. I, not only did I have them delivered, they put it, planted it. See that? For $75, they delivered, they planted it. For $75, no, they this delivered. No, thing is You're, you're right. Or, or, for, or for $25, they'll just deliver it. But for $75, they'll deliver it and plant it That's where right. you want it. That's a deal. And I that think is a deal. That's that the thing, smart thing I to thought do. it was a little tree. When I got there... It, because when you told me you when you told me you brought it home, I said, "My no, God, this thing must weigh about 250 pounds or better." You know? Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Bob. You were going to comment. Just from recreation, one of the uh, consent resolutions was resurfacing the tennis courts and the roller hockey court and the basketball court at Blackbrook. So we're, we'll thank the engineering department for moving ahead on that, and we look forward to getting the bid approval for the resurfacing of the floor in the rec center. Um, that's on the agenda coming up soon, and then the um, bulkheading and, and decking over at Malpartis Park. So we want to see all three of those completed by year end, and we once again thank the engineering group, group for moving ahead with that. We look forward to getting that completed this year. Very good. Very good. Um, now that we're just about through the season, uh, Veterans Field, with the lights and everything, worked out very well this year? Extremely well. Our first full season. Um, well, the Veterans Field's been online for a little while now, but uh, we're looking forward to the second year of the Brickyard Field. Yeah. Um, summer Concert Series went extremely well. Uh, no damage done to the turf over there, and the uh, football practices have begun. Uh, grass has come in nicely, so we're looking forward to Season 2 over at the Brickyard Field. That's great. Very good. All right. George, anything? No, actually, it's been kind of quiet through the summer with uh, the Board of Ed. Uh, I have a meeting next uh, Tuesday with them. Uh, but the uh, landmark, they haven't had a meeting, so it's been kind of a quiet month for me. I've really had some more spare times than I know what to do with. Oh, my God. So it's awful. We remind people to sign up for the Nixel system. I finally did it. That worked out well. Yeah. Right, George? Yep. The Nixel system. It's great. You know, they got uh, a Nixel, the, website. The Nixel system is terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Has that been explained to the public, I guess? In, in the, the, that they can have access to that by signing up on our website? They can go on our website, get the information, they can yes. sign up for it. And it's great. I just signed up. I, I was holding off for a while because I didn't get, just get too many emails. How was that so spelled? I said, what, let me try it. N-I-X-L-E. 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 It's worth saying again, uh, with all that goes on in the community, good things, bad things, all the things, uh, there is a program that you can get by going to the Hanover Township website and you'll scroll down on that program till you see a program for Nixels. I highly recommend, if you have a cell phone, that um, uh, you take advantage of it. It's very easy to sign up for it, no matter of putting your name in, putting your, your cell phone telephone number in. But what that will do is automatically, automatically give Hanover Township residents alerts as to any events that have taken, uh, noteworthy events that have taken place in the town that you should be aware of, whether it's a silver alert or there's a child missing whether it's any other type of event, 
uh, our police department will road closures put it on there for you and you'll get it immediately I have it both for the town and for the state police and it's quite good it really is quite good okay uh, there's nothing else in the committee I'd like a motion to open the floor once again. So moved. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open once again. If anyone would like to address the township committee at this time, they can do so from the podium. Hey, Joseph. You don't make me walk all the way up. Well, I could let you shout from you this microphone right here. Right here, right. Joe. No, you got right. mic's here. mic's right Joseph. here. Right here. Uh, come on. He wants to be uh, official. Uh, he wants uh, to be official. My friend over here says I need you. Guys. You know, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. I'm reminded of a story about Red Boyke. Remember Red? All right. From the, remember Red Boyke? I do. I'm trying to take <laughs> his place. God bless him. God, God bless him. I think he has a hat. He, he was having some trouble and uh, walking, but he, and he complained about the parking at his condominium association one night. And so one gentleman from the audience stood up after he was done making an impassioned talk about, you know, uh, spaces that were available for parking. They said to him. Well, there are handicapped spaces, Mr. Boyke, that you can use. And he turned around very abruptly, looked the man in the eye, and said, Do I look handicapped to you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I admire him to the day. You couldn't win. You know, I admire him to the day. Joe Mihalko, 12 Anna Terrace, Whippany section of Hanover Township. I just want to address one older issue that continues to keep rearing its head, and this is vis-a-vis uh, -vis the consolidation of the fire departments. And I just want to go on record. Uh, Mr. Kaiser has been quite vocal about trying to consolidate both fire departments, et cetera, for many different reasons. The primary reason he seems to have is to have one firehouse. If, in reality, the town should move in that direction, I think it would be a grave error. At the moment, we're serviced by two firehouse homes, one in Cedar Knolls, one in Whippany. As much as they work independently as firehouses, they work jointly as a fire company. They mutually aid each other. I think Mr. Kaiser is half right. Perhaps a joint board of fire commissioners would be in order, but definitely not one single firehouse. Your coverage will be gone down if that should happen. There's uh, no question. I think the consultate, uh, the guys that did the, uh, the consult. Consultant. The, the consultants were not as emphatic if you looked deeply into it about how efficient a single firehouse would be vis-a-vis -vis going towards a paid department, it seems to work out. But we don't need that. Mm -hmm. You have dedicated volunteers in this town. I think things run very smoothly as they are. However, you could save money with consolidations of the two departments with two firehouses. Thank can you, I Joe. can I clarify a point because this is televised. And I think this is the misunderstanding that and I'm sorry Joe, but I think with the it is not the consolidation of combining fire departments. It's combining fire districts. Only the fire commissioners. As nothing the fire departments would still remain as separate entities, and unfortunately throughout this discussion, it's kind of led people to believe that they want to combine the two fire departments. And in fact, the consultant and the whole purpose of the report was primarily just to consolidate fire districts. Once the fire districts, if approved, once the fire districts were to be combined, then it would be a whole new group of fire commissioners, however they decided that would be would ultimately be, be responsible for any kind of decisions impacting both fire departments, which right now this whole issue that's been going around with Gary Kaiser and what he's been uh, getting petitions for is, I believe it should be only for the kind of combining of the fire districts. I, I, I There's so much confusion about that. 
No, no, you're, you're, you're correct. It, it's it's a. Um, I think there's more discussion that should be brought out uh, yeah. in answering questions to the public about the whole matter, uh, so that they can too uh, make a, an informed decision, which they're doing. And these are elected bodies. Both are elected bodies. And I'm not, not get a discussion on this thing, but I think I think what Mr. Mahalko brought up is a very uh, uh, important point. It's 12 square miles of Hanover Township. Regardless of consolidation of departments two and three, or not consolidation of departments two and three, or even if there was, the need for two fire companies, fire stations, let me qualify this, uh, I, I think is something that has to be critically looked at. Uh, if you centralize as what was put into one report, a fire station, let's say at Central Park, and you don't have a paid department, and you've got volunteers that are going to come in from the bowels of Troy Hills Road, you know, to get to that department, it's a man the fire engine. By the time they get to your house, they'll be working on the cinders. Um, so you know, that's my own personal comment, is that uh, I think uh, um, when, when a, an outcome to consolidation or not is, is reached, uh, I think as part of that consolidation is the requirement for either one or two fire stations to give uh, to, to keep up the level of fire protection that the town presently now has. That, that's, I think that's the only point issue there. Okay, having said that, any other uh, comment from the uh, public at this time? Annie, you've been sitting back there very quiet. <laughs> I know. I wasn't planning on speaking tonight, but I have to share a quick story with all of you. Tammy Wagner, 25 Frederick Place, Cedar Knolls. I have a new zip code. After 50 years, it's 07927 instead of 81, which is new for me. And I'm very happy about the garbage cans because since I've moved to my new house in February, I had to purchase two garbage cans because of the bear that kept ripping it apart. So now with my new garbage can, the bear can't get in there. And I'm very happy. <laughs> so Excellent. I like it. <laughs> so thank you very much. Added value, garbage bags. We like that. We like that. That's great. That's great. Uh, if there's no other further comment from the public at this time, a motion to close that portion. So moved. Second. With the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion for adjourn? So, so moved. Second. Okay. All Aye. in favor? Aye. Aye. Committee is adjourned. Do I? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think this is it for the resolution.